You don't need trust anymore. Uh, with all existing fiat currencies, you must trust somebody, uh, the US government, uh, banks, the Fed, uh, transfer agent, uh, um, um, Western Union, somebody. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? <laughs> And that entity that you trust controls you. For example, the government, you gotta trust it because it's, they're saying it's US dollar trusts us, it's good. Um, if they want, they can issue two trillion more dollars, which instantly makes the money you've earned and worked your life for worth 15% less. Do you see how it works? Yeah. They own you, they own you, they control you. You yeah. must trust them and when they choose to betray your trust by issuing more dollars, you can do nothing about it. In cryptocurrency, no one can issue anymore. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. And, and when it's set out, the math formula says there's gonna be 21 million of these or 100 million or 1 million or whatever, and that's it. The mathematics of this system prevents it from being more ever. And also the mathematics of this system guarantees everything is honest. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean that if you buy drugs, that the drugs you get are going to be good drugs. I'm sorry. But it does mean <laughs> that <laughs> between you and that person, no one's controlling it. And that when you send that money to him or her, they will get it. Yeah. So, And, and if there's an ex Go ahead. Well, what's the, what's the need for decentralized uh, plat decentralized exchanges and privacy coins? <laughs>